Hi, my name is Alyssa. I'm 30 years old. Hi, my name is Carissa. I'm 30 years old. Hi, my name is Jenna. I'm 25. Hi, I'm Nate. Hi, my name is Nicole. I'm 25 years old. My name is Raven. I am 22 years old. Does that her? I'm 35 years old. anxiety disorder, panic disorder, and major depressive disorder. I suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder as well as at least two types of obsessive compulsive disorders. I suffer from generalized anxiety and post-traumatic stress disorder. I have agoraphobia and generalized anxiety disorder. Every time I see my psychiatrist they change the um, diagnosis so apparently I also have post-traumatic stress syndrome and disassociation and depersonalization, um, all sorts. I'm diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder, which is schizophrenia and bipolar, uh, borderline personality disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, PTSD, and ADD. I have generalized anxiety disorder, major depressive disorder, and panic disorder. I have <coughs> schizoaffective disorder, Dyslexia, CPD, uh, which is central auditory processing disorder, uh, um, dyslexia, yeah, ADHD, uh, general anxiety disorder. First thing about uh, my mental illness is um, that it keeps me from expressing myself. It keeps me from being able to tell somebody when something's wrong. It just the best way I can describe it is it's like screaming inside in my brain but not being able to verbalize. I think the hardest part of chronic mental illness for me is the near constant state of panic and anxiety I live in without being able to help it. And people thinking I'm fine because I sound chipper and look so good. The hardest thing about having a mental illness is People don't understand it. They don't understand why you see, feel, and, and think about things differently than they do. And they don't understand why you react to things the way that you do, especially if it's something small and seemingly insignificant to them. And it can be very exhausting to explain it. It can, at times, be very difficult to have and maintain meaningful relationships. The worst thing about it is that I feel like I'm watching my life from the sidelines. I feel like I'm watching my children grow up. It's like being in prison, I suppose. Um, I can see everybody around having fun and going out and doing things. And there's places I'm desperate to take my family to. My children, for example, I'm not sure they've ever been to the zoo and I can't take them. Um, so I would say that, that is the worst thing. The hardest thing about being mentally ill um, is you don't always know what's real, at least for me. I suffer from delusions, paranoia, and hallucinations, um, and I often lose touch with reality. The worst thing about my mental illnesses is feeling like you are trapped on the inside. You are screaming for help, but no one can hear you because obviously you're not yelling out in public. Like, you want help, but your brain doesn't want you to. Well, the worst thing about having a mental illness is, is, uh, <clears throat> the, is, uh, people, stereotypes, 
people is, is put you in stereotypes. would be the experiences and the relationships that I have built um, by having a mental illness. Um, they are th experiences that I've had that I never would have had otherwise that have changed me as a person. You know, I'm a much stronger and much more confident person um, because of the experiences that I've had because of having a mental illness. The best thing about agoraphobia I'm not sure there is one to be honest, but I suppose it allows me to have time. Um, time to do crafting and hobbies and reading and I suppose doing the things that people generally don't tend to have time for. The best thing about being mentally ill is you really know who your support system is. You really know the people you can count on, the people that love you, and the people that will truly be there for you no matter what. The best thing about my mental illnesses is I have been able to make it into a positive thing by being able to inspire other people. The best thing is the community that I've found. The community of people, the caring community of people. They're so caring. Thank you.